be making bases. In this lecture, we're going to talk about building your own home studio. This could be a very rewarding process. Just seeing your studio going from point A to point Z is a very, very, very cool thing. And it really is going to help you to take your beats to the next level. So the first thing I want to talk about is environment. We mentioned kind of in the intro, but you have to create an environment that, that, that basically makes you or forces you to want to produce music. And that's what it's all about. So when you're going to go get your equipment, also think about all other aesthetics that you can use. Okay. Now there are five major pieces of equipment that you're going to need. Now, without saying right now, we are in a new wave of music creation and everything is digital. Okay. So the first thing you're going to need is a good solid computer. It doesn't matter if it's a laptop or a desktop, a Mac or a PC, but one thing you want to make sure is that it has at least four to eight gigs of memory and at least an i5 processor. Now, me personally, I would recommend that you use a laptop because that way you can be mobile. You can go to different studios, different friends' houses or other home studios or professional studios, etc. OK, you also want to make sure that if you can afford it, get a MacBook or a Mac computer. The reason why, I mean, they're just cool. I'm a Mac guy. I'm not against PCs, but, you know, Macs are cool. So it's all about your budget. The next piece of equipment that you're going to need, of course, is your DAW, your DAW. What does that stand for? That's your digital audio workstation. These are software programs like Logic, like Ableton, like FL Studio, like Reason, like Machine. The list goes on. You want to make sure that you get a solid one and you can pretty much spend about $200 and get everything that you need to produce quality music. So you want to invest in a good quality DAW. After you got your computer and your DAW, the next thing you want to get is a digital audio interface. This piece of equipment is going to connect any external devices to your computer. So say if you want to, you know, record some vocals or a guitar riff or some bass or, you know, anything, you know, you're going to need that digital audio workstation. I mean, digital audio interface to do that. Same thing also with your MIDI keyboards. You're going to need usually sometimes you need that MIDI, that digital audio interface to connect your MIDI keyboard as well. All right. You can get a pretty good one for around $100, and if you have more money to spare, you can probably pretty much, you know, spend about anywhere from $100 to to $1,000 on a good digital audio interface. Um, now, another piece of equipment that you definitely need is a uh, is a MIDI controller. We also are going to say like a MIDI keyboard. Okay, there's several ones that you can choose from. The ultimate thing is get what, what get what you like. Okay, there are a lot of great brands that you can choose from and everything. But if you spend about a hundred dollars to two hundred dollars, you're going to get something quality. Okay, keep it in that range. Now the last piece of equipment that you're definitely going to need is some studio monitors. Okay, you want to basically make sure that you can hear the bases or the lows and the highs. Okay, don't get anything crappy. If you can afford it, spend about $300, get you some KRKs, some Yamahas, or some type of good reputable brand so you can hear your music. More than likely, you're probably going to be making music out of your home, you know, either your apartment or, or a big room in your house. So you don't need to get to top of the line, spend thousands and thousands of dollars on your monitors yet. Just start with something base, a base model. OK, so those are the basic um, pieces of equipment that you're going to need. There are other extras and everything. But from here on out, what I want you to do is complete an exercise that I have for you. OK, there's a couple of PDFs. One is, you know, pretty much going through everything we talked about in more detail and also give you some extras that you can, you know, saying use. And then also I have an exercise for you. OK, the exercise is pretty simple. It's a PDF. And all you have to do is just fill it out. It's basically going to get you in the dreaming mode of what you need to build your own studio. Okay, so check those PDFs out, and I'll see you in the lectures to come. Thanks. Peace.